We all get scared, right? That's kind of a fact of life. I'm looking at what people do when they get scared. For example, what would you do if you encountered spiders? Or the zombie apocalypse? <laughs> or, worst of all, dinner with your in-laws? <laughs> but what about a terrorist attack? Modern day terrorism targets high density groups of civilians, aiming at causing as many casualties as possible. And its impact in the last 10 years has increased significantly. Did you know there was a terrorist attack in London in 2015? And again in 2016? Twice. Unprecedented is how MI6 head Alex Younger refers to the current threat level in the UK. Given that the geopolitical climate doesn't seem likely to reverse this, we are facing high levels of injury and even death in the near future. My work will change this. My research is in pedestrian dynamics. Specifically, I try to make models of how people move from A to B. The best way we have of doing this is to use something called a social force model. People move according to physical and psychological interactions with their surroundings. A social force model approximates these, these interactions as forces, pushing, if you will, the pedestrian in a certain direction. There are limitations to this approach. An age-old one, you need data to calibrate the model. This data will be scenario-specific. And until now, most of the emergency modeling has been done on fire evacuations. This is a very distinct type of evacuation. Notwithstanding our advice at the beginning of today, if a fire alarm goes off, you will probably look around at everyone until they start to move. Do you think you'd do the same if a man with a gun appeared? I'm building a model that will account for the differences in these scenarios. With it, we can design infrastructure to optimize emergency evacuations without impacting on the initial function of the building. We can then scale this up to multiple building evacuations, potentially even a city-wide mobilization. With it, we can change cities. With it, we can use civil engineering to help solve the 21st century problem of terrorism. Thank you.